is it bad that I want to take the laser sunglasses home with me? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be filming a prep and pack with me video for Europe. I am so excited. I know I've been talking about this trip for like the last six months. Everyone's probably like, can this bitch just fucking get there already? Because I'm overhearing about it. I can't believe it's already this week. I booked this trip like eight months ago. A lot of you guys here on TikTok, on Instagram have been requesting to see a pack with me video, which I feel like for Europe, it will be interesting. Whereas like for like the usual places I go, it's not really that interesting. But I'm going to take you guys along with me to all my appointments this week, show you guys like how I like to pack for my trips. As you guys saw before, I got my laser done. I obviously didn't actually film me getting my laser done. Just got to my brow appointment. So she's just going to wax them. And every time I go in there, she's like, oh my God, you really need to try brow lamination. But I thought I may as well try it for this trip. I don't know, maybe that might be a bad decision because I've never done it before. I think the only thing that I'm worried about is like that they'll be standing up too high. So I'm going to film the process for you guys. I'm back home now. Brows are done. I just feel like they look so much thicker, but she did such a good job. I see Tisha at Waxing Express. Brows for me are just one of those appointments that are usually so draining. So I do appreciate when someone like her actually does them quick and does an amazing job still. Right now they look super gelled down because she did apply like a bit of product on at the end and I can't wash them till like tomorrow night. So I won't really see how they look like naturally until tomorrow night. So far, I do really like them. I don't know if I'll keep doing it just because I don't know if it makes like the biggest difference to my brows. I mean, I can't complain. It will be good for the trip, but yeah, I'll just see how I go with it, I guess. I just popped over to the post office and picked up a couple packages. So I'll quickly show them to you guys. Start off with what I got from David Jones. I'm not too sure why it came in two separate packages. They were doing a buy one what was it? It was like buy two, get 30% off of Skims. Honestly, I feel like Skims themselves don't even do sales. So when I saw they were doing this, I was like, I'm going to pick up a couple of the pajamas because I've been wanting these pajamas for so long. I just, every time I like would go to buy it, I'm like, do I really need to spend $200 in pajamas? So when I saw this sale, I thought it was the perfect time to do it. They're just these like ribbed pajamas that flare out at the bottom. I got it in a size extra small. They feel so comfy. I can't wait to wear them. And then it just has the matching long sleeve button up top. I'm actually gonna have a shower now and chuck this on while I pack. It's got the same style sleep set, but not in the rib version. I think this one's like $50 cheaper than the other one. Still feels super soft. It's just a different material, but I got it in an extra small as well. I'm not gonna put this on now because I'm gonna be packing and stuff and I don't wanna get it dirty so i'll wear the black one i think i might like the black one more like ever so slightly it feels just a little bit softer this is still super soft but i feel like there's like more stretch and stuff on the black one next up i have a box here from bitey i've been following them for a while and i've been wanting their swim for ages but they kindly gifted me some swimmers for my europe trip wow this print is stunning so i got these bottoms right here this is one of their new prints i love the color this is very like European vibes and then I got two different styles of tops. So I got this one here That's like a cup one and then it ties up at the back, which is nice And then I also just got the like triangle one. It's got a little charm in the middle, which I think is super cute I'm really excited to wear this. I feel like the material feels nice. So I'm excited time to finally start packing I can't believe I'm finally doing this. I actually got some new suitcases from this brand I heard about it's called July I'm sure you guys have probably heard about them before, but I wanted some really nice, good suitcases for the trip. Just some really good quality ones that I know I'll most probably, fingers crossed, be able to rely on. And I heard really good things about this brand of suitcases. So, also, what really got me about these, carry-on suitcases. Well, 
one of the types I think. I'm um, not sure if all the carry-on suitcases have it, but it comes with like an ejectable power bank, which I thought was really cool. I've literally been waiting to open this for like a week. It's just been sitting over there, waiting for me to open, but I really wanted to film this video and do like a first impression to you guys as well. I've got the two suitcases in here. It also comes with a drawstring bag over the top, which I feel like is perfect for storage because then you can keep like dust and stuff away from it when you're just storing it at home. I ended up just getting it in the black color because you can never go wrong with black. I used to always like strictly get white suitcases, but it's honestly just so difficult to keep them clean. First impressions, the wheels are really smooth. It is definitely smaller than my last big suitcase, like my checked luggage. But I have heard that the compression system um, on this suitcase is really good. This video is just fully turned into a suitcase review, but you can also like at any point that you stop the handle, it like stays like that. So if I stop it here, it'll stay and it doesn't move. I do wish that there was a size bigger than this because this is the checked plus and it's definitely smaller than my last suitcase. We also have the little baby checked suitcase here. I want to show you guys the portable charger that just comes out do you guys see that this is what the big suitcase looks like opened up there's a divided big um zip here and then you've got this side you guys can see on this side this is the like compression technology it's like a y-shaped belt i think this part in the middle here is meant to compress things down even more a zip here as well so you can store more things in there as well then we've got the space underneath for all the clothes in this little compartment there's actually a laundry bag which i think is great and it's just the same thing again so yeah i can't wait to fill these bad boys up i'm gonna put all my like luxury bags and shoes and all that kind of thing into here just so that I have it with me, just in case they lose my bags. I actually also got some air tags as well. So once I set those up on Wednesday, I've got a reminder on my phone. I'm going to put them in here. This is why I hate packing for a trip because who knows when I'm going. When I like open up all my suitcases and put it on the floor, it's the saddest thing in the world. And she just stares at me like she's doing right now. Out here right now, I've basically got everything that I bought for the trip. Yeah, not gonna lie, it is obviously a lot of stuff. Some of these things do need to go in the wash today. Material on some of the things is a little bit scratchy, so I just wanna chuck it in the wash first before I actually wear it. Essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try everything on and narrow everything down, because obviously I'm not gonna take every single thing that I have here with me. So right into my notes, my packing list. Um, and I take everything off or just delete it as I go, like once I actually put it in my suitcase. Honestly, I've been doing this for years, even on just like short weekend trips. And there's never been a time where I've forgotten anything. One of my biggest tips is to start writing out your list like a couple weeks before your trip. And you'll kind of remember things as the days go on. And then you can add those to the list as you remember them. Just so that when it gets to the actual day of packing, you don't forget anything. I recently saw a video of someone putting their outfits, like taking photos of their outfits and then putting it into their notes. Just so that when they're actually overseas, they know like what outfits for what and you know, what to pair it with, what jewelry, what shoes. I'm going to do all that this afternoon. I'll show you guys how, um, or what I actually meant by like taking photos and putting it into your notes and organizing your outfits that way in a sec. I've got two more packages to open for you guys before I do any of that. I'm gonna start off with a box here that I actually have from the Doll's House Fashion. I followed them for quite a while. So I saw this dress and I was like, this will be perfect for Santorini. I honestly have no clue how this even like goes on. Essentially, it's just like a white long maxi with this little bandeau top that you wear underneath and your whole stomach's kind of like exposed. I've also got this parcel here from Fluke the Label. They have the nicest cover-ups and they've just released heaps more. Got this nude high neck like fishnet cover-up with a low back. V-neck crisscross back crochet dress. Again, another cover-up. Really nice brown colour. Last but not least, I got this high neck nude open back dress i really want to pick up like a white nice oversized um shirt that i can just chuck over my swimmers as well i actually have barely seen any like white linen oversized tops at the zara here 
on the Gold Coast. So I'm just gonna get it while I'm over there, honestly. This is such a gorgeous piece. I'm actually speechless. I don't know if I should wear it in Dubai or in Santorini. I do think it'll look really nice at the hotel we're staying at in Santorini. So I think I'll save it for that. So guys can tell it's nighttime now. I've got on this table everything that I'm bringing with me, minus swimmers and also I'm gonna bring three activewear sets. My only dilemma is like my biggest packing cube is this size. So I think I'm only going to put into packing cubes certain things. Are you guys like so severely wonky right now? What I'll usually do is I'll grab whatever article of clothing it is or the dress or whatever and I'll flip this upside down and I'll kind of fit the article of clothing to the bottom of the bag and I feel like that just ends up saving a bit more room. I like to do this because I feel like you're utilizing the space as best as possible. Should I move over a bit more so you have to see a bit better? This shit is already wrinkly because I had to store it in my closet because my house just doesn't have enough storage. I'll just pretty much iron stuff as I go. I was actually going to get a travel steamer and then I was like, I'm literally not going to need it anywhere that I'm going. So that's just a waste of space. Time and money really, isn't it? Some people like to roll their stuff. I personally don't. I don't know. I don't know why I just don't. There we go. And then all my handbags and all my shoes that I'm bringing are going to go into my carry-on. I want to show you guys what I mean by organizing your outfits in the notes app on your phone. This is only if you've updated your iPhone to like the latest update. I'm actually not going to do this until, I don't know, hopefully I have time over the next few days. Honestly, my schedule's so filled up up until we leave. So I'm going to have to either do it on the plane or while we're waiting for the plane. What I've done is I've taken photos of all my outfits. And what you do is you click on a photo, hold down on it. You guys can see it'll do that. And then you press copy. I did one as like a tester, but you go into your notes app. I'm going to obviously organize this properly. But you just paste the photo in. You can organize all your stuff either by like day outfits, night outfits, or you can do um, organize it by each place. And then if you want to see the full outfit, you just click on it and it goes big like this. I didn't style everything like with shoes and stuff because I'm honestly not bringing that much. So all I have to do is open my carry on and then decide each day. Okay, that was an absolute drainer. I'd say that probably took me like an hour and a half to two hours to just do my outfits. I'm literally exhausted though. It's 8.40 and I've got a big day tomorrow. I've got to get up at like 5.30 and head to my lash appointment. I'm getting a lash lift and tint. I've got to be there by 6.30 and then I have to drive to Brisbane after for my hair appointment. I will see you guys for tomorrow's appointments.
morning guys it is tuesday morning it's nine o'clock i just got to brisbane and parked as you guys saw this morning i got my lashes lifted so that's all done now in brisbane i'm just gonna get my hair done by ash at edwards and co she's the best i actually feel like i like my hair color the way it is now but it is obviously just gonna keep getting lighter and like washing out so i think we'll just put a little bit of toner in maybe like add highlights throughout so it kind of gives this look without being light all over obviously my hair is still blonde like underneath all this apart from obviously what's grown out over the last couple months and because we don't do like um a permanent or semi-permanent color we literally just do a gloss every time which is like a toner like a dark toner it washes out super quick but that also means that if i ever want to go back to blonde it's it won't be as like it won't be as damaging on my hair because it's not even hair dye really is it? I don't know. From my understanding, it's toner. <laughs> but yeah, I want to see what she can do. I got myself a coffee before. I also forgot to bring food, but I usually fast till 12. It's only 9 o'clock. Um, look, I haven't packed. What's going on here? Hi, kitty. Hello, do you want to play? No. So it's actually 8.30 at night now. As soon as I got back from the hairdressers, which by the way, she did an amazing job. I um, had James's dad's birthday dinner. I said bye to his niece, Paris, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably see that I like post her and stuff. And I think I like talk about her quite a bit on here as well, but I literally cried the whole way back home in the car when James dropped me home. My hair doesn't look as good now that I look a mess. Just chilling with Boo now. I'm gonna have another shower get into my PJs and then do a little bit more packing for like an hour. And then I have a few appointments tomorrow. I really don't know why, but I've always had like this weird thing where I hate saying bye to people I love. Like, especially if I'm going away for more than like just the weekend, I'll cry. Someone actually said to me that it could be like some sort of PTSD or something from when I used to like leave my brothers and sisters in the Philippines and say bye to them. Cause I didn't see them for 10 years. Like, the last time I saw them and I didn't know it was going to be that long. Which it honestly could be that. Like, it's not normal behaviour. If I drop James off to the airport, like, say if he has to go to Melbourne for a meeting, even if it's, like, two days through the week, I'll cry. And I'll cry the whole way home. I think I just have this fear that I'm, like, not going to see people again. Anyway, I'm going to stop thinking about it. I'm going to have a shower, get into my PJs and keep packing. Guys, I am so freaking stressed right now. Um, it's obviously the next day. It's the day that I'm leaving. I just dropped Boo to Sophia's mum's house. She's going to look after her for the first two weeks of me being away. And then Maya's parents are going to look after her the last two weeks of me being away. But I'm literally so stressed. I've had the worst sleep. I've been waking up at like four in the morning and just not being able to sleep basically every day. And I still have so much to do. I'm just about to get to my nail appointment now. And then I've got to go to the doctors. I've got to still finish packing. I still haven't finished packing. But I tried to see if my suitcase was going to close this morning. And it literally just closes. I'll show you guys everything that I have in there. I don't know what I'm going to do about like shopping while I'm over there. Worst comes to worst, we can always get a new suitcase in Paris. Because that's our second last stop before we go back to Dubai for a couple of days. And that's probably where I'm going to be doing the most of my um shopping anyway i was contemplating bringing like two big suitcases and checking them both in we do get two 32 kilo bags each to check in but then i'm like i don't know even though we have like porters and drivers and stuff picking us up everywhere i'm also worried about like within the train stations in italy I just got to my nail appointment i'm gonna go in there now and i'll see you guys when i'm in there
going to pack my makeup now. I only have the last few things that need to go in my suitcase. And then I'll show you guys exactly what I've packed. I just thought it would be a bit boring to show you guys like every single step and fast forward it i actually got this makeup bag from victoria's secret the other day also came with this on top as well as two of these the other one is in my carry-on bag right now with like cords and all my charges and that stuff in it and in this one i'm just gonna put um some like everyday makeup for the plane in case i need it i think in this one i'm gonna put all of my liquid products i was actually meaning to get a new foundation but i kind of want to see like what's in Dubai before I made my decision. I'm gonna zoom in now and kind of show you guys everything that I've packed and what I've done. Starting off with my big suitcase, I managed to fit all my clothes in just. I did use a couple of packing cubes and then the rest of it I just fold it up, I thought it would just be better that way. And then in here, I just have a few little extra bits. Um, over on this side, I've got my bra. I don't actually wear bras, but I don't know, I thought I'd bring one just in case I need it for an outfit. Over on this side, I have the only other pair of sneakers that I'm wearing, aside from what I'm wearing on the plane tonight. I've got my makeup bag that I just showed you guys. I've got a packing cube full of all the swimmers that I'm bringing. All of my hair products. I've got some Polaroid film definitely needed. I've got my little jewelry holder. In this little pouch, I've got all the sunglasses that I'm bringing. I think I've got like five pairs in there. Um, I have some baby wipes. This little black pouch, I've got the perfumes that I'm bringing. So I've got two little mini ones. This one's a Kayali Young Pistachio and the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa CC2. And then I've also got a full size here of Baccarat Rouge. I also just brought a band just when I train, I don't know. Can you guys even see what I'm showing? In this bag right here, I've got so much medication. I've got literally any medication that we might need on the trip. So I've got like Panadol, I've got Codril, I've got Band-Aids, Gastro Stop. And also I have travel sickness tablets. Uh, I have like hay fever stuff. I don't know, I have so much stuff in here. There's nothing worse than when you're not feeling well, especially when you're on holiday and you don't know your bearings, than having to like look for a pharmacy or whatever while you're feeling sick. And then over here in my carry-on, I have an extra top and an extra pair of undies on top here. And then I also have all my bags just underneath that I'm gonna be taking with me. On this side, I have three pairs of heels, two pairs of sandals. Over here, I also have my travel size like light up mirror. And then I have a bag full of like my electronics. I have like my portable fan, travel adapters, GoPro, the camera that I use for nighttime photos, a little GoPro tripod, my light that I like to use when I get nighttime content. So that's in there. This really cute bag. I have charges, more cords that I don't need on the plane. I also have my little mini power bank in here because you obviously can't put that in your chest luggage. It's currently 3.30. James is about to pick me up. After so long of fighting with his suitcase, I finally managed to get it shut. She's very heavy. The only thing that I couldn't fit in there were my makeup brushes. So I'm just gonna get James to put this in his duffel bag. And then this is my like personal handbag that I'm gonna be taking on the flight. So I'll show you guys what's in there. At the top, I just have some baby wipes. I always, always keep baby wipes on me. Here I've got some makeup, just a little bit. I've also got chargers, an adapter, AirPods, and then I just need to put my phone charger in there as well. I've also got my passport in here as well, of course. Can't go anywhere without that. Card holder, last here as well. I've got three. Um, I only really need one in here, but I was meant to put it in my suitcase and I forgot, and I'm not about to open that thing back up. Again, this was also meant to go in my suitcase, but I'm not fighting with my suitcase right now. They're just like sneaker cleaners. I've also got my Polaroid camera, another sneaker cleaner thing. I've got my hairbrush. I've got some, some mints, which I might actually put this with all my makeup. I've got James's little, oh, couldn't even see. I've got James's little phone holder thing as well. The fresh antibacterial wipes. My sunnies, these ones are from Vela. Really nice. I'm not gonna open that with one hand because I can't. 
Uh, I've also got my laptop and then I've got this clear bag. Inside I've just got like face tissues, a little mini hairbrush, scrunchies, James's deodorant, my deodorant. Um, I've got tampons in there, hay fever tablets, cold and flu, strepsils, pill, teeth whitening, I've got a little baby perfume at the bottom, mouthwash, hand sanitizer. But yeah, that's everything that I keep in my personal handbag. This is the outfit for the plane. If you guys watched my TikTok haul, you would have seen me share this. My tracky set is from Essentials. This little crop that I'm wearing is Meshki. And then I'm just wearing my Veja sneakers. I actually really like these. I love how they have the black on the side. Off we go.